Hi, what's going on? My name is Anand and in this video, I'm going to show you what are the things you can possibly do with the campaign API by sendmaze.io. So once you are on the dashboard, head over to campaign API and this is what you will be getting once you go to the campaign API tab. So this is the API docs. This is the endpoint and this is going to be your campaign API token. You can always renew your token from here. Now, let me just quickly open the API docs. It will not be publicly available. So you will first have to create an account inside sendmaze.io in order to see this. But this is the documentation. I, and I just quickly want to show you what all API endpoints you will be getting inside sendmaze.io. And one more thing is once you click here, you will get a detailed uh, documentation on how do you use that API endpoint as well. So. The first thing is you can create authentication token using the API hit. Then you can do manipulation with the list. And here's the things we, you can do with uh, API endpoints. Create a new list, get information about all the list, get information about a specific list, add a custom field to a list and delete a list. These are the things that you can do with API endpoints inside sendmaze.io. Now, when we look at the campaign API, what you're getting is get information about all the campaigns using the API. You can get information about a specific campaign using API where you will have to pass the campaign ID and you can pause a specific campaign using API endpoints. Now for subscribers, these are the things that you will be getting. You can display the list of subscribers. You can create a new subscriber. You can get a subscriber's information by passing its user ID. You can update a subscriber. You can add a tag to a subscriber. You can find a subscriber with its email. You can subscribe a subscriber or you can unsubscribe a subscriber and you can delete a, a subscriber as well. You can pass a notification to the application by telling that this email got bounced. So if you want to report to SendMaze that we don't want to send email to this particular email ever again, then you can use this notification tab to create a bounce. And this is the one through which you can upload your file. So that is it about all the API endpoints that you'll be getting. Uh, check out the next video where I'll talk about how do you use these API if you're a non-developer.